me show you how I'm going to get this plug through this wall with only the smallest of holes. First things first, what you want to check is obviously you don't want to be putting that plug through a hole as big as that, um, but you might want to check the other end of the lead just to check. So that's a really easy uh, start. If you haven't got any means um, in which the end of the lead, maybe it's hardwired into something, um, then you're going to have to look at the type of plug that you've got. So if you've got a plug which has got these screws on the bottom, it means basically you can take it apart. And what you're going to be doing is taking the wire out of here and the hole that you drill will be the diameter of that wire. Okay. So a few caveats, if it's a molded plug, and I'll show you one of those, then you can't do it. Or if it's a transformer type plug in, then you can't do that as well. Let me show you what I mean about those two types of plugs. Okay, so let's start with the molded plug. So this is a molded plug. What that means is, is there's no screws on it, so you can't take it apart. There is an option, however, and see my other video above, that if you really do want to, you can chop this wire short and you can refit another plug onto it. So you cut the wire, feed it through the hole, and then you can, using a replacement um, plug here, you can wire it up. Another type of plug is this kind of transformer end plug. You'll usually see it, it's got this kind of end and it's quite fat. There is no way that this plug here, unfortunately, you can feed it through the hole or you can chop the wire. What you're more likely to find, however, is that the other end of the wire has usually got um, something that you can plug in, plug out, that's, you know, that's the diameter of the, of the whole bit that you're drilling, okay? Let me show you how I'm gonna get this plug through this wall with only the smallest of holes. You need to find a drill, you need to find a drill bit that's gonna be the diameter of that. Now, depending on what you're drilling in, and this is the caveat, you know, I can see that there's nothing here, but if you're drilling through a wall, make sure there's no water pipes, electrical pipes. If you are unsure, please do seek professional advice. So I have found my drill bit and the drill bit is just wider than the width of the just wider than the width of the wire okay so i want to drill this now smallest hole possible i mean you're, you're depending on your configuration smallest hole possible there you go there you go so i've drilled a hole going from the inside to the outside okay and i'll just tidy it up a bit so that because I know that is a smaller hole as I need, okay? Now let me show you how I get the wire through there. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking this plug apart, okay? Taking the wire out of the plug and then feeding the wire through the hole. A few caveats, obviously you need enough space on this side that you're gonna be able to rewire the plug, okay? Which sounds odd, but you don't wanna be, you know, for example, having not enough wire left to uh, to plug this into okay um so just make sure you've got enough space on this side because you're rewiring the plug in this area here okay once you take the wire apart so so first things first you want to take this big screw out in the middle here okay bit of a caveat if you're not happy with this and you don't feel confident with it um, in terms of taking wires out of a plug and putting them back in then do seek electrical professional advice it's not that difficult but obviously you know, if you're not comfortable, then please do seek um, proper advice. The back is off, okay, uh, there you are. And now all you're doing is taking, if you might have an earth wire, but you're taking these off and these out, so you're taking the wire completely away from the plug. Okay, so first things first, I would take these two out here and then these two, and potentially an earth wire if you've got it. Remember, where the configuration these wires are. It should be blue, brown, and then a green, green slash yellow here. Um, however, do be mindful that there might be different colors depending on the age of the plug um, and where the electrics came from. Okay, again, if you're not comfortable with this, then please do seek um, electrical professional advice. Okay, so I've loosened everything up. So I've loosened everything up in this plug and now I can just pull that lead there you go, I can pull that out and away. So there you go. So that is what I'm now putting through the hole. So here's my hole that I drilled, okay? Now, what you may wanna just be careful of is you might have a rubber bung that goes onto the wire. I would take that off first, 
Okay, just slide that off. Ooh, just drop it on the floor. Then, this wire here, you're just feeding it through the hole. So stop these splaying apart is I would twist them round on one another. Okay, a little bit like that. And then when... Now, if you are having trouble in getting the wire through, you can do a, a feeder. So, you know, I'll just show you what that means. So if your hole, see this here, see how that's going through? What you can do is if you get then a bit of sellotape to kind of sellotape around there, you can just pull it through. Now they do do this, electric, electricians do this with kind of, you know, like conduit wire. But if you're finding it difficult, then you can just push it through. As I, for me, it's fairly easy, you know, whereas you might have quite a thick wall. So there you go. So I've got the wire through the wall with the smallest of holes, okay? Now all you're doing is you're giving yourself enough wire here, and that's what I meant earlier on, giving yourself enough wire here to rewire the plug on the other side. And then you've done it. You've created a small little hole, not a massive one for the size of the plug, and then you can just rewire this. Like I said earlier on, if you've got a molded plug, you can get around that by chopping the wire and refitting it to a standard plug and my video will show you that above. I hope that's helped. I won't show you how to refit it. Um, please do like, please subscribe. If you're unhappy with any of this video, like I've said a few times, please seek professional advice, both in terms of drilling and in terms of fitting and rewiring a plug. Um, but I hope this has helped and thanks for watching.